the backyard. I was inspired to write this play when I began to wonder what the creatures of nature think about the constant change in their environment and the massive amount of habitat destruction that is happening everywhere, including our own backyards. I often imagine the animals and plants that would be found in my backyard as misunderstood and viewed as more problematic than they actually are. I hope the audience sees animals that roam the outdoors aren't always pests. While we often love cats, other animals are viewed as nasty creatures that need to be wiped out. While it is true that snakes can be venomous and foxes and raccoons can be dangerous, most of the time they're just trying to live as we humans do. In a world where environments are being destroyed for our own needs, I want the audience to know that all animals need a place to stay too, not just the ones that are domesticated. I was very emotional while writing this play. I had lost two of my childhood pets over the course of a few years. This not only impacted my life, but also the way I wrote the play. In fact, Coco the cat is named after my cat that passed away in 2021. I am absolutely thrilled to have a play that I wrote produced on stage. Ever since elementary school, I've always been coming up with ideas for stories, and this is the first one that's come to completion. I hope to write more and be involved in more productions in the future. Playwright and student, Emily Harris. creatures that walk on their stinky, dirty feet. They treat animals like scum. Oh. What do they do? If my calculations are correct, they will either tear out or poison the flowers. Ah! You'll end up either dead or in a cage. And the rest... The rest? You and Rico will be hunted down and exterminated by the professional. Professionals? They call them animal control. They'll scoop you up in a net and you'll never be seen again. Oh, heck no. I'm out of here. They're coming! Everyone hide! It wasn't my fault! Wow! A big backyard! Pretty flowers! She called us pretty. Lucas, humans aren't so bad. They're actually really nice. <gasps> <gasps>
If you help me find the best animal control to help get them in a safer place, we won't have to hurt them. isn't set in stone yet. If we think of a plan now, we'll make it out alive. I know a plan! <gasps> what? Run! Cora, stop! No way! I'm not ending up in a cave! Cora, no! Don't be an idiot! You was just scared for her life. Hey, 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 I was not kidding you! You cannot listen to me, everyone! No, you have to listen out to of me! My way. Enough! We will not get through this by arguing. He's right. We need to think of a plan, and be careful when executing it. You're right. I'm sorry for getting mad and scared. Me too. What should we do? We need to avoid the humans as much as possible. See that fence? If we get a head start and up at the right time, we can make it over. Let's brainstorm some more tonight. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Have you tried everything to get them out? No. Mm -hmm. Have you weighed it out? <gasps> Are you saying I can't handle these things myself? Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself! I can handle these things myself! Uh, sir, that's no. not what I meant. Yeah, I... Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I don't need you! <laughs> You're fired! I got this! How? Well, I'm quite the hunter! See that snake? No! Watch this! Yes! Yeah, no! Ah! Lucas! Coco! Well, well. There you are! No! Oh my gosh! No, no, we need oh. a car! No, please don't die, please! Coco! Lucas, you're alive! Barely! Come, come! I'm so sorry, Lucas! I'm so sorry, I didn't follow the plan! Don't be sorry! You are a true leader and have a heart of gold. Wherever you go, and no matter what it happens, don't let anyone change that or make you forget. Thank you. Anytime, kid. And thanks for being my friend. No, no, Lucas! Please don't go! Lucas, please don't die! Are you happy now? Your daughter is in tears. You messed up the, the environment without it even being necessary. Sweetheart, you have a nice day. And you, you need to go get some help. Oh, oh. All I want was a perfect yard for my daughter to play with. I don't care about the yard. I just wanted my dad to play with me. I thought if we moved here, away from the stress of our old home, you would snap out of this phase of yours. <laughs> no. You're still the shallow shell of what used to be a loving father. You kept fighting with mom. Now she's left us and moved to California. You messed with Casey, and now we have one less potential trusting adult around. You disrespected this employee who took time out of her day to come here only to fire her and disrespect her. And you killed all of these plants and animals, and for what? For me? So I can frolic around like nothing else matters? No, Dad, no. Because you don't have any compassion for anyone, not even yourself. Look at the yard. It's now just as empty as you. Oh, you're right. Oh. I, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I failed you. Oh, I failed your mother. Oh, I, I failed everything. But, but I promise, from this moment on, I'll be better. I'll be a new man. No. I want the man I knew as my dad. A caring man. Well, I'll try to find him, sweetheart. I promise. Are you okay? No, no, please don't hurt me. I have nothing left. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. Okay. <laughs> this is nice. I'm going to call you Coco. Whoa, you found a cat. Can we keep her dad, please? Uh, sure thing. But we should take her to the vet first to make sure she's healthy. Vet! <laughs> <laughs>